First of all, I hope that if you're doing a question like this, you're not picking A or B. If you are, I, I don't really know what to tell you. Maybe just like give up. Like, I don't mean to be mean, but like it says it in the question, right? Each year, the value of an investment increases by 0.49% of its value the previous year. So why would you pick a decrease, right? So don't overthink these kinds of questions. Like it says increase, it's an increase. It's that simple. Now, hopefully, we also know then the next piece. They, they do talk about a percentage, and maybe we associate that with the idea of an exponential, so that's a good sign, but that's not always going to be the case. We do need to be careful. Sometimes we have percentages involved, even if it's a linear equation. The real giveaway here is when they say it's value the previous year. So that, what that means is every time we do this increase, we're not kind of like taking 0.49% of the same number. Every year we have a new amount, right? The value of the investment increases, so we're taking 0.49% of a new value, and so that's what exponential growth is like, where the percentage kind of grows because the thing we're taking a percentage of is growing every single year, second, minute, whatever it is. So th that's the key. The, the percentage is a good sign, but I have seen SAT questions that kind of trap us because we, we see the percentage, but something about the way it's phrased uh, leads us to linear growth. For me, the key, um, I guess, vocabulary that I associate with linear growth that sometimes does come up in these stories when that's the right answer is the idea of a constant rate. Or in this case, if they were talking about the percentage, if they said, you know, it increases by a percentage of an initial value, right? So if the initial value is where the percentage is based on, well, then that initial value is not going to change. It's always the same initial value. What, what's really happening here is that we're not looking back to a starting point. We are looking back just to last year. And so that's what allows this to be exponential growth. Hopefully that all makes sense. These are very important concepts and they will come up in questions like this, but also in questions that explicitly tell us to kind of just build an exponential equation or build a linear equation. We're going to need to be able to tell the difference. That way we can kind of get from y equals mx plus b to to the exponential equation that we'll need for something like this.